hello there. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, it's been a hot minute, but I finally finished a diamond painting and I have I get to catch up with you guys. So um, I missed you guys as always. And I'm so glad that I'm back making another video for you guys. Um, um, if you can hear any like sounds in the background that sound like a ukulele or just random sounds, that is my boyfriend. Um, I kicked him out of the apartment because I came home from work thinking, oh, perfect. He won't be here and I could record in peace and quiet, but no, he is here not working today. So I kicked him out on the patio and locked the door and I just, I was, he has his ukulele, he has his cell phone and he has a book. So he should be good for a little bit. So that's what we're doing. But if you hear any sounds in the background, that is him and I apologize. Also, do you guys like my Christmas tree? It's there and I know it is um, December, December. Oh my God, no, it's November. <laughs> I know it's mid-November, but um, it's Christmas time. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy holidays. The Christmas tree is up and it's here to stay. So <laughs> yeah, um, but today what um, I am working on in this video is the diamond painting called Gamer Girl by Medusa the Dollmaker from Jada Gem Shop. And um, I'll have the image pop up on my face. I loved working on this bad boy. It was such a blast. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be working on. But before I go into any further detail, I got a little something something to show you guys. So I was reached out to by the crafting website called One Day Saving. And they um, reached out because they wanted to um, send me some products to show you guys, um, one of which they are very excited about. So they sent me um, a cross stitch kit, um, a diamond painting, and um, a special little 3D diamond painting thing, which I actually um, got in the mail yesterday and I finished it like last night because I opened it and they didn't ask me to finish it for the video. Um, they just wanted me to show it. But when I saw um, the diamond painting ornament, I fell in love with it. So I finished it and I have it all ready to show you guys. Look at it. It's a Christmas tree. Isn't that so cute? Sorry, you can't see my face, but isn't that so cute? Like, I love it so much. This thing is adorable. Um, and now I, it didn't come finished. I did it myself. <laughs> but yeah, in case you can't tell, it is um, like a it's a plastic um, diamond painting ornament. Um, and so the plastic cover was um, on top of the Christmas tree, this whole thing. And um, you peel it off and do it like a normal diamond painting. And when you're done, it has a little stand that you put the tree into. So you have a little diamond painting Christmas tree and what I really like about this is that it comes with like it's the crystal diamonds um I think that's, that's what those are called but it also has like really special um like round giant ones and my favorite one is the ones on the star it looks so cool I love it so yeah really excited to show this to you guys um, one day saving really thought that you guys might like this. So, um, I'm going to have a link for this specific item in the description box for you guys, as well as, um, links for everything that I'm showing you, um, that they sent me. So let me get the cross stitch pattern or cross stitch kit rather. <laughs> I unboxed everything ahead of time just to save you guys the pain of having to hear the crinkling plastic, but I will do my best to minimize any of those sounds if they pop up when I'm editing. But, um, sorry, the cross stitch pattern or kit, cross stitch kit, excuse me, that they sent me and I, and I picked this out, but it's like a little um, teddy bear like claw machine pattern. The pastel colors are so cute. So um, this specific kit is it's big, <laughs> but it is a stamped cross stitch kit. So um, the artwork is printed on the fabric. Let me move this out of the way real quick. So the artwork is, um, like I said, printed on the canvas and the colors look funky so that um, it's easy for your eyes to like pick up like what you're working on. But essentially you don't need to look at a paper pattern in order to look to work on this because the, um, the guide of how the colors work according to the thread color is printed on the side. 
and when you finish working on it you um, wash the um, fabric and the ink washes away so um, you don't have to worry about the ink poking through um, the cross stitch when you work on it so yeah it's so cute i love it and i really want to show you guys the colors so give me one second okay look at all of these colors this is honestly like pastel like galore i thought i dropped some but it's pastel color like heaven i i love it it makes me so happy that's why i picked this um specific kit because the color is just really grab my attention so yeah i'm really excited to work on this kit i don't know when i'll be <laughs> working on it because i'm working on so many projects right now but um i'm certainly excited to work on it hopefully in the near future um yeah okay i'm gonna grab the diamond painting the um my favorite thing <laughs> this right here that i'm holding all rolled up is the diamond painting um i'm not going to be able to um <laughs> unroll it easily to show you guys the whole thing but i'm going to show you parts of it but i'll also insert a clip of um, me panning over the whole thing but since of course it is now my one year anniversary of working at disney they wanted to send me a disney princess themed one and this one has i believe like nine princesses and i i'm so excited the video will be popping up um overlapping this but yeah um, but this diamond painting is massive um, and the drills are round drills and they are acrylic. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up, but it is a um, poured glue kit. And um, this is also why I open up my products ahead of time before showing you guys. But um, the drills come in the Ziploc baggies, which um, if you guys work with Ziploc baggies, super easy. You don't have to kit up at all. But um, one of the Ziploc baggies holding the black drills um, now Henry's playing with his toy, but one of the bags, um, of drills opened. So a, a lot of black drills had spilled. I had to clean that up, but, um, you know what? I'd prefer cleaning that up than having to deal with the little sachet of, um, drills. So yeah, that's what I got to show you guys, but, um, links to everything will be linked down below. I wanted to tell you about, um, the black friday sale that they're having so all, all this information will be down in the description if you guys are interested but um if you want to save just 10 um ten dollars um on your order the um, discount code is 23 black friday 10. the second promotion is you'll save three um, us dollars on orders over 39 dollars um, six dollars on orders over 79 dollars so on so forth all in the description box and you can use both of these promotions at the same time so yeah and um this promotion is happening right now up until november 30th 2023 so yeah thank you so much one day saving for sending all this stuff to me and so that i can show you guys and yeah let's get back to the regular video so right now i'm holding the finish rolled up um gamer girl diamond painting and i love it so much i had such a blast working on this um so jade's with hold on one second henry give me the toy we confiscated the the culprit of the sounds but um jade's shop of course she offers both round drills and um square drills with her diamond painting so you can you can choose which type of drill you want to get and um so usually with her diamond paintings, I've always ordered squares because um, with her highly detailed and confetti heavy um, diamond paintings, um, squares typically turn out a lot more detailed. But I wanted to try a round drill kit um, from her shop. So um, with this one, I ordered a round drill kit, round drill um, diamond painting. And um, the, I got the recommended full image size, which I believe is the 60 by 90 centimeter from her shop. And I am so glad that I listened to that instead of going like massive. Um, I feel like Jade really takes the time to make sure that the sizes that she recommends on each of her diamond painting listings gives you enough detail, um, in the in the um, original artwork without having the whole kit be a massive um, overwhelming project that will take months and months so um highly recommend if you're unsure of which size to go for to try it out with the recommended size um and her round drills are like phenomenal <laughs> and i feel like honestly i might just order 
um, practically all of her diamond paintings and round drills from now on um, because I had so much fun working on it. Um, this diamond painting did take me, uh, I think, roughly a month to work on um, at least, but um, I'm glad I took my time with it. Really glad I did. <laughs> um, this was so much fun to work on. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to have you guys start watching me work on this and I'll see you guys later on. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better Better When I look at what I've done Now that we're apart When I look at what I've won I've come so far I know I'm so much better off and better
me closer, but don't waste your time. Don't have any time for all your empty lies. I used to think that you were only mine, but I was blinded by a shallow light. I'll call you friend.
So since this diamond painting artwork has all things video game related, um, tied to it, I thought I'd talk a little bit about one of my other passions, which is, you know, video games. Um, and, you know, talking a little bit about this might not be of any interest to some of you guys, but I love video games and that's partly why I was drawn to um, this artwork by Medusa the Doll Maker. Um, essentially when I was, I think it was like 2005, when I was um, seven years old, um, I had a friend, like a, ch a childhood friend, um, Jessica, her name was Jessica, and um, her older sister, Alex, um, we were really good friends. And um, I remember when I was like seven years old, I went over to their house to, to play, and they showed me um, their Nintendo GameCube home console. And I think it was like one of the very first like consoles that I had ever seen, like where you could play video games on. Um, my parents weren't very, you know, interested in that type of stuff. My dad was more so interested in the arcade type stuff, like pinball machines and arcade games, you know, at the arcade, um, our arcade stores, but not so much the at home video game stuff. But they showed me their Nintendo GameCube and the very first game that they let me play and like look at was um, Animal Crossing the original Animal Crossing, and I fell in love, and I asked Santa for um, a Nintendo GameCube with Animal Crossing for Christmas that year, and I got one, and I've been hooked ever since, <laughs> um, and yeah, so I think on the GameCube, I played my very first Mario game, which I think was Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, which if you guys know anything about Mario games, that's kind of like an interesting choice as a first Mario game because like I don't know I, people usually play Super Mario 64 as their first Mario game that's like the classic um, Mario game because it was the very first um, 3D um, Mario game that had ever come out um, but after that I think my next video game related um, gift that I got from Santa um, maybe a couple years later was the Nintendo DS. And so I played a ton of Nintendogs, which in case you don't know what that is, it's a game where you have a virtual um, dog, you adopt a dog, you name the dog, and um, you can teach it tricks and feed them and bathe them and take them on walks. And I loved Nintendogs so much. <laughs> As well as games like um, Cooking Mama, where um, you do like little mini, um, little small mini games to um, cook different dishes and foods and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, growing up, I love video games. It was um, a really fun pastime for me. Um, and it was funny, but like, I think I had like such a poor like attention span and also like very poor skills in terms of just playing video games in general that I like would constantly play my video games but like I would constantly restart like my progress because I would get stuck on like at the time it was really hard parts for me but like it's pretty easy like parts of the video games but I, could, I would get stuck and I'd be like oh well time to restart and then I would just restart the whole game and just keep doing that I guess um and I kept just like hopping back between games. So I never finished really any of my games um, in terms of the ones that have like a storyline and a plot and like a very clear start to finish um, layout. So it's funny, but I don't think I ever like finished, fully finished a video game until I was like 15 years old. Um, that's kind of embarrassing to say, say, but my very, very first video game that I ever finished and beat fully was Bioshock Infinite, which I actually have a diamond painting in my stash that makes me think of Bioshock Infinite. So I'll definitely be talking about that when I eventually do that diamond painting. But yeah, so I, so this kit, this specific Gamer Girl kit just has so much meaning to me because it has um, a little Mario plushie. It has a Link plushie from the Legend of Zelda games. Um, it has a Sonic one. I never played Sonic, but I know who he is. And this whole diamond painting just like it feels like it, it was calling out to me the moment I saw it so so glad I worked on it and I had so much fun with it I also wanted to give you guys just a little life update um I 
have been working so much. Um, at the time of me recording this, um, I just finished doing um, 10 days of work um, in a row without a weekend, and tomorrow is my only day off. So I am so exhausted, but I am so happy because <laughs> I love my job. So honestly, being exhausted and having less time for YouTube and stuff um, is worth it in my eyes as long as I have my dream job, which I do. And um, actually, like two days from now is like my official like one year um, anniversary of being employed for the Walt Disney Company. And oh, man, did that go by fast. <laughs> it went by so quickly. But it's all been amazing. Um, I'm so glad I took the risk that I did to move down here and do this job. Um, I really am just so happy, honestly. Like, I've made so many friends. I've had so many amazing experiences. And I've gotten to create so many magical memories for guests of all ages who come to the park. So that's been amazing. Um, I've also been cooking a lot. Um, I've been doing my Blue Apron stuff still. And that's been great. Um, Next week, it'll be Thanksgiving, so Spencer and I are planning on, um, like, I think Spencer's going to be doing the grocery shopping for me, and then I'm going to be doing, like, the majority of the cooking for Thanksgiving, but it's my first time doing it, so I'm really excited to do that, um, and we're going to be doing our Thanksgiving dinner thing um, together the day before Thanksgiving, just because on Thanksgiving Day, I'm going to be doing a I think like an almost 10 hour shift in the morning but then um Spencer is doing an evening shift so um we won't be really home at the same time on Thanksgiving so we luckily Spencer thought ahead and we were like hey let's do it the day before so that's our plan um <laughs> and I think it'll work out too because with the amount of food that um I'm planning to cook we'll definitely have enough leftovers for um you know to eat Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving as leftovers. So, yeah, been loving that. Um, I'm hoping that I can um, do a real good deep cleaning of the apartment because with us constantly working, or at least me constantly working all the time, um, the main thing that kind of gets um, – forgotten or put on the back burner is um cleaning the apartment so that's um not fun so hopefully I'll be able to do a good deep clean of the apartment and enlist Spencer's help to like do some of it please <laughs> and then um once I get this place clean again then I'll be a lot happier um yeah so the um, next diamond painting that I'm going to be working on is, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Christmas in Town Square, but it's a diamond art club kit. And it's, a, it's like, I think the only round drill Chuck Pinson kit that they have. I could be mistaken, but that's what I think it is. Um, and I really love it. It's so cute. I haven't even finished a full section on it yet, but I think it's adorable and it's perfect for the holidays time. I didn't get a chance like at all to do a Halloween or autumn themed diamond painting, but honestly, I have come to terms with that and that's okay. <laughs> um, this year, I definitely didn't get like a lot of diamond paintings completed, but that's okay. I've come to terms with that, but maybe next year I'll be able to get um, a few more done because um, hopefully, ideally, I won't be taking like a four month break from diamond painting, um, but with me working on Gamer Girl for the last month, I definitely like took my sweet time working on it just so I can solely solely enjoy the um the pro the process of working on it. Um I'm so sorry if I'm not making any sense with what I'm saying. I am <laughs> exhausted, but I wanted to record this um for you guys because I'm busy all the time. Anyways, um I, yeah, I'm so glad I took my time working on this. Um there were a couple moments where I was, I felt like the, a slight like nervousness of being like, come on, like, let's finish this faster so you can get a video out sooner. But I quickly course corrected that thought process. And I was like, no, 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 enjoy it. It's fine. It's okay. 
<laughs> and um, then I was fine. So proud of myself for getting myself to not be stressed about making the video. I'm just chill about it now. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys keep watching this and I'll talk to you guys later.
just one glass in You're already on my mind When it gets late I always realize that I need you Are you thinking about me too tonight? It's no secret All my friends already know There's no reason To hold it back, I let it show All my feelings Are you thinking about me too? Like a drug, I am hooked on you Sweeter than summer wine Baby, just hold me tight Like a drug, I am hooked on you And that makes me say Oh man, you make it feel like paradise God damn, I think I'm gonna lose my mind Oh man, you make it feel like paradise Paradise I'm taking a mental picture in my mind Just to keep this moment till the end of time Cause I know that it might be over Something in my brain causes stress So come on, make me feel different You wanna hold, don't hold back Oh, your little drama's got me mad And I don't need to tell you facts You know I always want you back
Okay, it is all done. Like I said a million a million times in this video, I had so much fun working on this. Um, thank you, Jade, for having such amazing licensed artwork to turn into diamond paintings. Um, the this specific kit that I got will be linked down in the description as well as Jade's shop in case you guys are curious about um, checking her out in case you haven't already for whatever reason. Um, yeah, but let me know what you guys think of this diamond painting. Would you guys want to do it? Or um, are there any other Medusa the doll maker kits that you guys want to um, work on? Or are there any like other specific artworks by Medusa the doll maker that you want to see in Jade's shop? I would love to know. Um, let me know what you guys are working on, how you guys have been doing. Um, oh my gosh, wait, I need to show you guys my progress on my cross stitch um, kit that I, or pattern that I've been working on. Um, be right back. Okay, I'm gonna pop up an image of the pattern that I'm working on in case you guys um, may have forgotten, but here is the progress that I've made. <sighs> It looks so good. I'm currently filling in the detail on um, the inside of the remaining letters. And I have a goose right here. Oh, it's so cute. I officially hit the 25% mark. I think I'm like well into like 26% of the pattern um, completed. But um, my current goal is to fill in the, um, like fill in everything above um, this specific goose right here um, before I move further down in the fabric. I love it. Having a great time working on this one. Um, in case you're curious, this pattern is from the Etsy shop Glitch Stitch AU. I'll have that link down below if you guys are curious, but they have a lot of great funny um, patterns. <laughs> um, this one, definitely not gonna be done in time for Christmas, but that's okay. I got backup plans for gifts, so that'll work out anyways. Okay, so yeah, I miss you guys. And um, this diamond painting that I'm working on, the Christmas at Town Square one, um, this one is a lot smaller than Gamer Girl, so hopefully I'll have it done um, relatively soon and a new video for you guys, hopefully sooner than a month from now, but we'll, you know what, we'll see. We'll just play it by ear. But yeah, thank you guys so much for there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all this way to the end of the video, please le leave me an emoji of a mushroom, a mushroom, a star. <laughs> leave me something and let me know how you're doing. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys go. Like I said, please like, comment and subscribe if you're interested in all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.